Frogs by Michael Tyler So far, more than 4,000 different species of frogs have been found in the world, and scientists believe that others will be discovered. There are 88 different species in the United States and Canada. At least 208 different species of frogs have been discovered in Australia. Scientists divide frogs into a number of groups called families. The frogs are grouped according to the way they look and the way they live. Tree frogs are found in many countries and belong to one family. They usually live in trees and bushes. They have sticky discs on the tip of their fingers and toes to help them climb on smooth leaves and branches. Land and water frogs are found worldwide and belong to many different families. These frogs are found in all kinds of places, including rainforests and deserts. They live in the water or on the ground or in burrows. Many of the desert frogs burrow with the help of a spade-like projection on each foot. Sequence of photographs showing desert frog burrowing. Rainforest frog left. Features of frogs. Frogs vary in size. The largest frog in the world, Conreo goliath, in West Africa is about 12 inches 300 millimeters long. The smallest frog, Smintilus limbatus, in Cuba is one half inch 12 millimeters. One of the largest frogs in the United States, the bullfrog, is three and a half to six inches, eighty-eight to one hundred and fifty millimeters long, and the smallest is the little grass frog, five eighth inch, sixteen millimeters long. The smallest frog in Australia, above. The largest frog in Australia, right. Scale drawing showing difference in size between these two species, left. All frogs are similar in important ways. They have smooth skin, which must be kept moist. For this reason, they always live in or near damp places. Desert habitat, where frogs keep moist by living underground until it rains. Right. Habitat with natural springs where tree, land, and water frogs live. Bottom left. Dam near snowy mountains where tree and land frogs live. Bottom right. Frogs' eyes and nostrils are on top of their heads so that they are able to see and breathe while the rest of their body is under water. Most frogs are excellent swimmers. Some kick with their strong back legs, but others use a dog paddle style. Frogs have short arms and long legs to help them leap. A species of frog in South Africa hold the world record for leaping, 34 feet, 10.3 meters in three leaps. The rocket frog is found in eastern and northern Australia. It is known to jump long distances. Most frogs are green or brown and are hard to see. The Australian Corbury frog, with its bright colors, seems to stand out, but it also blends in with its surroundings. A common brown frog, above. Australian Corbury frog, right. Toads have warty skin, stout bodies, and short legs. They crawl and hop rather than leap. Because some Australian frogs look like toads, they have been called toads or toadlets. However, the only true toad found in Australia is the cane toad, which was introduced to control sugar cane beetles. Toads are often poisonous. Cane toad. Frog calls. Frogs make a variety of calls for different reasons. During breeding time, the male makes a call to attract females. This call also tells other males that the territory is now occupied. Each species of frog has its own call, and to make that sound louder, the male blows up his throat. Male and female frogs also give a high-pitched scream or a series of chirps if they are distressed and a grunt or squawk as a warning sound. The Life Cycle of Frogs the life cycle of frogs and the development of the young varies from one species to another. The following describes the life cycle of one common frog. During breeding time, the male frog goes to the breeding place and calls mostly at night. The female comes to the breeding place and lays many eggs. This may take several hours. While laying eggs, the female raises her hands just above the surface of the water, throwing them down, creating air bubbles. Behind her, the male pours his fertilizing fluid over the eggs. Frogs' eggs are coated with a jelly which protects them. Some frogs lay as many as 25,000 eggs at a time, while others lay only 20. 
Marsh frogs laying and fertilizing eggs. Left. Marsh frogs spawn. Above. The eggs slowly develop into tadpoles over a period of a few days. When the tadpoles are ready to escape from the jelly, they wriggle and break out through the jelly wall. While they are growing, tadpoles spend all of their time feeding. At this stage of development, they have met many rows of teeth, which they use to scrape food from stems and rocks or from the bottom of the pond. Later, they may feed on insects and other small creatures in the water. Inside a tadpole's mouth. Teeth, parent, tree frog, tadpole. Horny beak, giant burring frog tadpole. After several weeks, legs grow outside the tadpole's bodies. Arms grow under the skin and then break through the skin when they are fully developed. When tadpoles are ready to leave the water, their tails become smaller and smaller as they are absorbed into the body. In one or two days, nothing is left of the tail. Lungs have developed and the tadpole ha have now become frogs. Development of tree frog tadpole left. Tadpole with legs developed opposite. Some frogs do not lay their eggs in water. They lay them in little nests on moist ground, so that the eggs do not dry out and there is enough water for the tadpoles to begin to grow in their jelly capsules. When heavy rain falls, the tadpoles are washed into a pond where they complete their growth. The tadpoles of some species stay inside their capsules until they reach the frog stage. The eggs of these species need to be laid on very moist ground and the capsules need to be strong to withstand the kicking of the babies as they grow. Devel developing tadpoles shown without its protective capsule. The stomach brooding frog has a most unusual life cycle. The female swallows her eggs or young tadpoles and keeps them in her stomach. The tadpoles produce a chemical to stop the stomach from making acid so that they are not digested. When the tadpoles have developed into little frogs, they are born through the mo mother's mouth. How Tadpoles and Frogs Breathe when frogs are at the tadpole stage, they can breathe underwater because they have gills. Adult frogs breathe with lungs as humans do, but they also breathe through their skin, getting oxygen from the air or water. To be able to breathe through their skin, frogs must keep the skin moist. They also breathe through the roofs of their mouths. What Frogs Eat Frogs eat insects, snails, and other small creatures, including other frogs. To catch insects, they flick out their long, sticky tongues onto their prey. Then they flick their tongues back into their mouths. The food is not chewed, even though some frogs have teeth. A frog's tongue is attached to the lower jaw at the front of the mouth. Caring for tadpoles The time to collect eggs or tadpoles is in the early spring or summer. A good home for tadpoles is a large bowl, a plastic bucket, or best of all, a glass aquarium. It is best to use water from the pond, dam, or creek where you have collected the eggs or tadpoles. Tap water contains chlorine, which kills tadpoles. To rid tap water of chlorine, let it stand in a bucket for 24 hours before using it. Keep only a few tadpoles in one container and change the water when it gets dirty. The best food for tadpoles is lettuce leaves which have been boiled until they are limp or dried, tropical fish food. Make sure there is always just enough food in the aquarium and that you cover the top of the container with wire or cloth so that the froglets do not jump out. Without water, the froglets cannot survive. When their arms are starting to appear, provide a raft or bench on which the froglets can climb or rest. Return the baby frogs to their original environment. Disappearing frogs. Since 1980, many kinds of frogs have vanished. Even the wonderful stomach breeding frog, page 26, have become extinct. Scientists believe that pollution and disease are the main causes for the loss. You can help by caring for the ponds and creeks where frogs live and breed. Clean up your local pond by taking out any trash or litter. Encourage your friends to help make the environment clean and healthy.